Hello everyone, coming clean here. Today I'm continuing my adventures through the Animal Kingdom and I'll be playing Shaman Shores and I'll be using only Fish Skylanders. This theme was suggested by YouTube user Mario123N so thanks a lot for that. Allow myself to place myself up into the corner and we'll get started. Alright, Shelmont Shores is booting up. For the record, I'll be using Riptide, Punk Shock, Shark Shooter Terrafin, and Deep Dive Yield Grunt. Let's see if we can skip the cutscene and get started. And we could. We're starting off with Riptide. This is a core Skylander from Swap Force that I enjoy a lot actually. I did not pick this hat myself, it doesn't really fit him all that good. It, became fr it came from a previous owner. I really like the way he just stands. He's standing like a fencer. Not that I know a lot about fencing. I, well, I do. I've had actually... I wanted to be a stuntman once, so I did some basic fencing training actually. But not at all nearly to the extent that I've been doing martial arts. So, but yeah, as far as I can tell, he looks like he is fencing. Let's get up here to this little larger area. And he can do, yeah, he can strike with his sword. And he can also do this smash attack when you bring up a whale. Which is not a fish, by the way. It's an aquatic mammal related to hoofed animals, like cows and uh, camels and the like. And also one thing more you can do with Riptide is that you can throw his currently held weapon. There he threw his swordfish and now he's holding a hammerhead shark. This has does not this weapon does not strike as swiftly, but it has a wider arc, so it's good for crowd control. Let's surf on some, some seaweed, I guess it's supposed to look like. And meantime, allow me to tell you something interesting about fish. Uh, there are two types of animal groups that we usually refer to as fish. We have cartilaginous fishes like sharks and stingrays and we also have bony fish like uh, oh I missed that one. Um, I guess pike is a bony fish, sea bass and cartilaginous fishes you know like sharks etc they have their skeleton made up of cartilage the same structure that makes up the yeah your ears for example on us humans. And one more f interesting thing about fish is that fish is a so-called paraphyletic group, meaning that the group fish does not include all the closest relatives of each other. It's all a bit technical, but let me put it like this. Uh, bony fish, you know, like pikes and sea basses, they are more related to us humans than they are related to sharks. So it's a bit weird that we call them all fish. It's more or less signals a uh, way of life rather than uh, any evolutionary relationships. Is it time for punk shock? I think it's time for punk shock. This is also a core Skylander for Swap Force that I like a lot. She feels very swift and snappy. And one attack that I like is this water balloon that she throws and if you shoot your your main attack at them at the pool it becomes electrified which is very good against these stationary enemies not these ones but uh, yeah the, that one <laughs> right on cue and what else did she have yeah she had this close range attack that damages all enemies around her and it also paralyzes them let's throw another water balloon here yeah i really like this playstyle. you know you know, learning your enemy's movement patterns, moving around the battlefield, placing puddles at the perfect locations. I mean, Skylanders in general is a game that, you know, the, the control and the way you play the game, your gameplay sort of spot on, it hits the sweet spot between being very casual, just mashing buttons. But you can, if you think about what you're, what you're doing, and if you raise difficulty, you'll have a great time for sure. The earth element is stronger here, then I might as well jump over to Sharkshooter Terrafin. This is one of my favorite superchargers for sure. It's time for another fight, can I jump? No, that's right, I, tr <laughs> I tried this level out before using these exact same characters, full disclosure, 
and then I realized that you can't jump over these sort of ink circles. Now I can't show that I can't jump over them. Or can I jump over them? Okay, let's see, I have to try. Okay, here we go. Okay, that time we couldn't. Maybe if you time it correctly. Let's not do it now because I am almost dying here. Okay, I can't die. Then I have to redo the level. Okay, I can't jump over them. Okay, now I need to bring my A game here or get the level up. I'm not close to a level up. So A game it is then. Or food. That's the third solution. We got some food. Can he? No, he's just running off in the other direction. Can I go under them? <laughs> is that the solution? I don't have enough health to test it. All right, it went quite well. Okay, now I can do it. This is so fun, just jumping over these little guys. I don't do a lot of damage, but I'm having fun at least. And that's the most important part. That attack does not do a lot of damage. It, that's the thing about some moves. Some moves look much more impactful than they actually are. See, this missile's damage 14. And this jump attack damage, you couldn't see it there, but damage 22, I think. And you can fire the missiles much faster. Let's switch to deep dive Jill Grunt and get inside. I really like deep dive Jill Grunt as well. I guess he's the superchargers, the supercharger repost, so to speak, that retained much of his. Uh, original look and feel he's very versatile that's what i was supposed to say and he can fly and shoot waves and he's quick too he has a dash he turns quickly he moves quickly he feels very very snappy it's the second time i say snappy to describe the skyliner in this video right i said the same about punk shock all right, we're gonna surf some more. I have to say that the fish Skylanders are delivering for sure. I really like all the characters I've shown in this video. I think we'll skip this section and we'll get back when we are at the Doomlander. And here we are. And we have the Swashbuckler Doomlander here. Take some lightning. I had to quick skip quite a large session there. Maybe I should have included it. I mean, that platforming section is quite fun. But I want to keep these videos short and snappy. <laughs> short and snappy is the theme of this video, apparently. This is not going very quickly. But I might as well tell you something more interesting thing about fish. Bony fishes, they have, is it called swim bladders? That's the way that the bony fish can stay in the middle of, you know, the water without moving up or without moving down. To do that, you actually need to apply a some sort of energy. If you put something in water, it will either float to the surface or it will sink to the bottom. For an object to do something other than floating or sinking, you would have to apply some sort of energy. That's why bony fishes constantly need to refill or empty their, the swim bladder because to, to have the exact level of buoyancy is that word to stay floating in the in the middle of the water now we have a great conversation starter for the next party you go to i have to say this is the longest period of time i've spent with this character and i really like him actually i would actually go as to as far as to recommend him as maybe your your main water, what's the other water element from the superchargers? It's dive collapse. I did absolutely not pause the video and google that on skylanderscharacterlist.com while I was away. It's because I don't own dive collapse, that's why I, we didn't pop up into my head. Let's talk about what I like about Deep Dive Dilgram. He's quick, he has a melee attack, he has a ranged attack. And he can fly, and when he's flying, his moves have changed. You can, he can shoot the wave, and he can just dash quickly in, do a dash, 
land and then do the stab attack. Yeah, that's a good strategy. More fun facts about fish. Cotyledonous fish, like uh, sharks and stingrays, uh, they don't have a, uh, a, a swim bladder. They have to constantly move or they will sink to the bottom. And they also need to have a constant flow of, of uh, water over their gills or they can't supply themselves with air. So if a cotyledonous fish suddenly stops moving, it will die. That might not be a good conversation starter for the next part you go to. Go with this, the whole swim bladder thing I told you about before. And now the level is all of a sudden done. I really enjoy all of these four skylers I showcase in this video. Next video in this series, I will do another video of the similar type where I pick another animal group and I will play through another imaginative level with those characters. In the meantime, you can check out my other content if you want to. But thank you very much for watching. My name is Coming Clean and I will see you next time. Take care.